Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at three completely different tanks, uh, but they all uh, have the same. Um, there's there's this something similar about all three of these tanks. Now, all three of them are completely different tiers. Uh, but they have one thing and one thing only in common and that's their name that is the name of the tank so we're basically looking at the three super tanks uh, but which one is the most super and uh, which one I prefer out of them all now it is kind of hard to uh, um, to look at all three tanks because as I've said they are all three super tanks uh, going by the name and they are all completely different. So the first one we have the Super Conqueror. Um, now I love this tank. Honestly I think the tank is fantastic. Uh, it's got uh, nice armor. It's got a nice turret. The gun's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun tank to play and of course it is tier 10. Um, you can get it for quite cheap. It's recently been in the store and I have recently made uh, a video on the tank. So the, the Super Conqueror is the first uh, super tank that we uh, that we are going to, to pretty much uh, play and talk about. So yeah, it's it's a heavy that I do like, and it is a heavy tank that I will play. Uh, but it's not one of those tier 10 um, or even one of those premium tanks that just sit in your garage and is never, ever played. It is a tank that I play, um, and, you know, I enjoy it, the tank. I think it looks fantastic. Um, again, the turret is quite sh it is fairly strong, uh, apart from that shot there from the E100. And just overall, it, it is a nice tank. And when you can get it for sort of around the 20000 gold mark um, it's not bad for your money the 20k gold is what we just kind of average it out per uh, per tier 10 and yeah 20k gold for what you get with the tank I mean you get obviously all the equipment you get boosters uh, and you get the camouflage as well all for 20,000 gold so overall I think that is a very very good uh, good price for a tier 10 uh, tank that is actually quite good the armor profile can work as you've seen there so it can work uh, but also it can be quite frustrating so that is the first super tank in the list Let's move on to the super tank number two. So super tank number two is the super Persian, a tier eight uh, medium tank uh, in tier, uh, it, well in tier eight, a tier eight medium tank in tier eight. It is an American tank. When I first started playing the game, this was the premium tank, you know, this is the premium tank to play. Uh, no one knew how to deal with it. Uh, nobody at all could deal with this tank. They would go for the lower plate and because it didn't have the red hit markers, um, it would confuse just about anyone that didn't really understand the game. So they would all go for that upper plate uh, because it was grey. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty much impenetrable. Like nobody could penetrate it. And not a lot of people did actually go for the weak point, which is either the lower plate or the, the turret. The turret has a lot of weak points in the turret. It's actually uh, quite soft and very, very uh, easy to penetrate. But uh, you still get it now. People do try to shoot. Uh, the, I mean, you can see it here where we're just going to bounce after bounce um, uh, after bounce after bounce. Uh, we, we still lose the game. Uh, but as you can see, like people do struggle to deal with the Super Persian. But it's not as fun as it once was. Definitely not as fun as it once was. And as soon as people realise how to deal with the Super Persian, then it doesn't make sort of uh, that enjoyable to, to play. But we bounced everything, apart from uh, in a minute where we are going to get penetrated and actually uh, uh, proper abused here by the red team. Uh, I think we actually done a pretty good job. 1,490 block damage. But uh, yeah, our luck is going to come to an end uh, in a very very short time but uh, yeah it's not the tank for me now uh, it is kind of a 2016 kind of tank 2017 tank now the only thing really good about the tank is the credit coefficient It's actually I think it's the highest credit coefficient tank in the game so the the tank that you earn the most credits from however I don't completely agree with that it is the highest credit coefficient but sometimes you need to use a lot of premium um, and then when you use premium you get sort of less credit so even though it is the highest credit coefficient tank in the game I still think you can earn more credits 
um, in other tanks. But yeah, it's the Super Persian. Looks great. It really does look great. Uh, but it's not the super tank for me. However, my super tank, the tank I really love to play, is the Super Hellcat. Fairly new to the game. Um, it's not been out that long, a year, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this tank. The Super Hellcat, the Tier 6 Hellcat, is a very, very good tank. Everyone loves the Hellcat. Um, so Wargaming obviously decided to release the Super Hellcat, which is basically the same, uh, but a tier higher. Yes, it has no armor whatsoever. It's literally like very, very weak. Everyone will hate you, but the gun, the DPM is absolutely amazing. If you can get into a position where nobody is looking at you, you can absolutely farm, uh, uh, farm damage, completely farm damage. And that's the best way to go with this tank. Don't rush in. Don't literally rush in because you will get uh, completely torn apart. So just take your time. Be patient. Go for the tracks because you do only have a 4.9 second reload. So if you go for the tracks, um, you will be able to perma-track certain or you, anyone. Uh, you will be able to perma-track them. And it's fun. Perma-tracking someone is is so fun. It's not for obviously for that person, uh, but for you, when you able just to keep a tank in a certain position and just take their entire hit points away from them, it is fun and it is amusing. So, uh, and this is a tank that you can do it. It has the speed as well. So yes, it doesn't have armor, but it does have the speed. So if you do get into a little bit of trouble, you can easily run away uh, with that speed. So do bear that in mind, but just don't rush in because again, if you do rush in you will even though you've got the dpm you've got no armor and you're probably going to have more dpm than most tanks you come up against but if they're going to fire he at you uh, then you won't have more dpm they will so just bear that in mind so now because we have spotted quite a few tanks to the left around the a side and quite a few tanks sort of in the middle here i have decided to move forward because i know there is an amx uh, just around the corner from me and we're going to get the shot on the su-152 luckily we do uh, let him miss but and he's he's pretty much gonna die see you later uh, and then we can move on so as you can see there's quite a few tanks there and there's well there's four tanks there now so as soon as i know there's four tanks i am going to try to get the shot on the scorpion can't quite get the shot i am trying but sadly i don't get the shot luckily he misses um and as soon as i can't i know i can't get the shot i'm you know what i'm just gonna leave him and i'm gonna move on to this amx so yeah the, the super hellcat such a fun tank to play it is an amazing tank and if it does come for sale i would strongly recommend uh, getting the tank because it is a good tank and when you auto bounce like that that was just stupid and i've only bounced that because of my angles of the front plate and he shot my front plate which is pretty much like a, an auto bounce zone uh, when, when i'm in that kind of angle no matter how much armor you actually have so yeah this is the super tank for me. Out of the three super tanks, I would say that this tank is more fun. Yes, it's a tier 7. I know the Super Conqueror is a tier 10. Uh, but yeah, I just prefer this because it's just more fun to play. Especially when you are come up against those uh, tier 6s. Um, if you get in a certain position, you can farm damage. Uh, the, super, the Super Conqueror is more of a, a frontline... Um, tank that you have to sort of angle you have to play in a certain kind of way to actually be successful where this you could just farm at the back you could just farm at the back and uh completely farm and then later on you can sort of run in to, uh, and, and just pick up the damage pick up the loose kills just like we have done here so out of the three super tanks which super tank are you are you the super uh, help hellcat are you the super persian or are you the super conqueror let me know in the comments below but for now i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye